hello everyone welcome back to learn with me so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this rose out of an a4 size paper so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe First, I'll be taking two edges of the A4 size paper and be lapping it on each other. Oh, sorry, that got in the way. So, I'll also be doing the same. I'll be repeating this process three times. This is the second time. I'll be taking the two edges to make each other. Make sure it's lapping on each other. That way, you're gonna get an even or a rounded, a curved shape. Round or curved shape. doing that size paper you can repeat this process four to five times but at each process remember to reduce the sizes of the next paper because we'll be doing it in layers you see what I'm doing here I'm repeating the same process you fold into three you fold it three times and then you cut a cone shape but each cone has to be a few inches smaller yeah, so here I'm just going to be using this to measure I'll use the one I cut previously to measure this now instead of me to cut on the line no I'm going to be reducing it by one inch or you can say a half inch depending on how many or how wide the space you need between each of the closes okay and I'll be cutting it out I'm going to be repeating this step three to four to five times depending on how well you want it to appear. Okay. Thank you. 
have five pieces. So what I'll be doing now, I'll be making a cut in between. You can decide not to do. You can decide to be creative, but you know, I just wanted to do that. <laughs> so I'll be making a cut in between each of the petals that I've just made. So what I'll be doing next is I'll be sticking them to each other according to the sizes the biggest followed by the bigger followed by, by the big size I'm just gonna fix it according to the sizes from the biggest to the smallest so that's what I'm doing here I'm just fixing the petals to give me that lovely shape and as you can see you can see the differences between each um, sizes of the paper that I made the differences makes the beauty to come out that's why you don't have to cut them in the same size you have to reduce them if you can decide to reduce yours make it smaller than mine I'm sure it's gonna come out well so now I'm done fixing it and voila there you have it so next thing I'll be doing is I'll be taking my cutting board and the colors that I wish to use and I'm just doing the polka dots on the road
Mechanical. If you feel to make this short, you can use two or three cups to cook steak, or you can just leave it this way. But I decided to move mine a little bit. No. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to give it more edges. Okay, now you have it. It's all ready. Well, you can decide to add more touches to this. You can decide to be more creative. Okay, the basic idea is just for me to show you guys how it's done. So, thank you all for watching. And please don't forget to like my video, give this video a thumbs up, and also please share it on your page and your whatsapp status tell your friend tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe thank you and see you in my next video bye guys